Welcome, Plant Boss here at McCord's Gardens in Provo, Utah, where we've had a cold front come through. So it's a little bit chilly, a little bit more noisy here in the greenhouse today. So excuse that, but we've got some really cool things to talk about today. Have you ever wondered how you could keep a plant alive? Or maybe you have challenges with uh, plants just in the house. Or how about those little pests that come around with house plants? Well, I have the perfect solution for all of those problems. Air plants and aerariums. These are great plants. They require very little upkeep and maintenance. And plus, with an aerarium, you can create something that's really beautiful and goes with the decor of any room. Also, you can change that decor depending on what season it is or if you change your room around. If you change the room, change the aerarium. If the holiday season is coming, spice it up a little bit in the aerarium for the holidays. Anyway, it will be great in your home. Also too, the other thing that you can do is you can bring family and friends together to build these and they're really, really simple to create. So let's go. First thing you do once you have your selected glass jar is pour your gravel in. Now I kind of am a natural sort of a guy and so I like to keep aerariums that I make looking a little natural. You don't have to though. If you've got a whimsical side you can create something like this here where we've got a seaside setting with a little boat and this blue gravel and some rocks. These are really great. You can even use shells or if you've got kids that love Legos, they can even make Lego figures to put in their aerariums. Once you have enough gravel, and I'm gonna put a little bit more in here, into your glass jar or bowl, try to level it out, or if you'd like to create some mounds in there for some mountain effect or something like that, you go right ahead and do that. We're gonna put a little hill or a little burn here in the background of this one. And the reason why I like to do that is because I'm going to also add some bark. I love bark in aerariums because it adds another texture to the planting. And when we do that, my goal here is to create kind of a mountain landscape so we are in the heart of the Rockies. So I've got some bark there. I'm also gonna add some rocks to mine. And these can be changed around if it doesn't quite meet your needs. And you'll see what I'm talking about in just a second. Again, I wanna make this look very mountainous in here. I also have a black bear that I'm going to place in mine, just kind of as a central figure to focus on. Now finally, we're going to add our air plants. I'm going to put some in the back, and it doesn't matter if the air plants stick out of the top of the aerarium a little bit. That just adds some additional interest to the planting. Keep in mind, these Tillandsias or air plants come in many, many different varieties. And so you can buy just about any air plant for whatever landscape you would like to create. create. And there we go. Once the Tillandsia are in place, you have got a beautiful, amazing aerarium that would fit probably the man cave in this case. But as I said before, you can make these to fit any decor of your home. Once the aerarium com is complete, it looks really good, but now you need to place it in a safe place where everybody can see it so they can admire your work. Based on your creativity, you should get a lot of compliments. Now, remember one thing, aerariums are not sun loving. You need to place them in indirect lighting, never in full sunlight. We're really glad you came today to learn about aerariums but you probably have one more question, and that is, well, how do I care for these? That's the greatest thing. As I said before, aerariums are very, very easy to take care of because once a week, you just need to pull your Tillandsia out, fill a bowl with distilled water, and then submerse the air plants or Tillandsia in that water for approximately 20 minutes, and that's it. Just think, you only have to water these once a week and it's very easy because there's no mess. You've removed them from the aerarium. 
Once you've finished watering them, just place them back where they belong and you're all set to go. The aurarium is ready to be beautiful again. Thank you for joining us here at McCord's Gardens in Provo, Utah, in the heart of the Rockies. This is The Plant Boss signing off for now, but please remember to subscribe below and also comment to us. Let us know what you would like to see us talk about. Remember, peace, love, and lift someone through gardening. Thank you.